Hey everyone, this is Delmark recording artist Breezy Rodeo from Chicago, Illinois, and you are listening to Ho Magoo. You told me I'm a right, but I should change my ways. And when you see me leaving, you want me to stay. That's the way it goes, and this is who I am. Now let me play the blues, cause I don't give a damn, don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You don't like my car, don't like the way I look. You ran away and left me with the cash you took. But let me tell you, girl, the story don't match up You spend your days complaining, so just give me up, just give me up Don't mess me up You give me up Don't mess me up Just give me up Not as I do Don't bite off more than you can chew I got some loving with no romance The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence I hope you can take it Don't dish it Cause if it ain't broke Don't fix it You don't fix it Don't fix it Now don't fix it You don't like my car, don't like the way I look You ran away and left me with the cash you took But let me tell you girl, the story don't match up Spend your days complaining, so just give me up, just give me up Don't mess me up You give me up Don't mess me up Don't mess me up You hit me up You don't mess me up Well now, do as I say, not as I do Don't bite off more than you can chew I got some loving with no romance The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence And if you can't take it, you don't dish it Cause if it ain't broke, oh lord, don't fix it Don't fix it, no, don't fix it Don't fix it
Oh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Little breezy rodeo this morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. We are doing a special edition of the Hoomagoo. Hoomagoo is over in the pond, far in the pond, over at York in the UK with Miles Nixon. Hey, bro, welcome to the Hoomagoo, buddy. Thank you very much, Tom. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good afternoon. It was about 4, 405 yeah. by you? Is that what we That's got? That's right, 405. You know, the fun thing about doing all these online shows and technology is getting all worked out online, on time, and getting the Skype together. And thank you to your wife and helping you with the ID and getting all connected in the last minute here, my friend. Awesome stuff. Yeah, she's a rock. She is, I know. And it's, it, again, it's just amazing in our world today that we can do these things and connect and, and talk music. And again, you're in England, and I'm over here in the States, the Milwaukee area. And part of my show is The Who. I'm such a big fan of the British music and all that rock and roll. And you guys are doing the blues. Tell me about all your blues station you got over there. Paul Wynn was on my show, and uh, it was great fun talking to you guys or talking to everybody in the world about music. So, again, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great interview. I enjoyed the interview with Paul very much. He does the blues show, as you say. Uh, my show on the Jorvik Radio is more a world music show, but I love playing music of any sort. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, you have quite a few presenters. That's cool. You call them presenters. I love that yeah. idea. In the community radio, you know, music just reaches everybody. Um, when did you get involved in the station and some of your early influences, my friend? Well, Jorvik Radio started up on the 4th of November last year, and I heard about it just uh, about a month before they went on air uh, through France. So I got in touch with them, and because I have some radio experience, uh, they were kind enough to give me a show, and I very much enjoy playing different music to uh, the community. It's great to have that freedom to be able to do so without necessarily it being our own play a list b list a list you know all the kind of the normal radio commercial pressures oh i know that's the fun of it we get to well i have the license side well you are a community radio so you're licensed you can play whatever you like and on my end with live 365 i could do that too here in the humagoo the great independent music is so much fun to hear and to be influenced especially the blues my friend i was talking to paul the blues that's this is rock it's the stones it's the beatles it's the who and it's always being reborn always and it's just an yeah, amazing it, platform eh? ongoing evolution of it yeah definitely it's kind of uh yeah where will it go next it's fabulous all those bands you mentioned and way back of course back to robert johnson and all those people it's fabulous now but being in the England area, it's like old school having all that history. What it's like living in the history of rock and roll. Now, I live by Waukesha, Wisconsin. Now, that's the home of Les Paul. And I talked to oh, a lot of the... Yeah, a lot, it's 12 miles away. So it's amazing how we are parts of the world where we grew up. And I'm thinking, you know, Abbey Road by you. But right by me is Les Paul. And my, my, that's brought so much history, to, you know, the guitar to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's a magnificent piece of history, that. Um, where I grew up, mostly, Darlington, our equivalent of that kind of history, is uh, it was where the first passenger railway left from in the world. So there you go. The first, pa oh, that was eight, 1830s. 1825, I think. Ah, 18, yes, I have a history degree, so I love all that kind of stuff. See, I had to get a yeah, little close right. with my times on that one. But, yeah, that's the early, yeah. And, and so much of life and everything comes from you guys and over at the U.K. So, uh, again, some of your early, do you play at all? I'm just a fan of music because, again, I'm talking to a fellow DJ music friend. Are you an artist by chance? I don't. Uh, I seem to have no musical talent despite my enthusiasm. However, I've... I'm one of these guys who's a big music fan that can't play and <laughs> tries to do what he can around the edges. So if that means carrying stuff, carrying speakers, or doing the, the sound deck, or DJing, or whatever it might be, uh, I try and contribute around the edges to the music scene that I love so much. Yeah, when I was young, I did some guitar and piano. I guess I'm one of these, you can play it to me at the moment, maybe I can recite it back. Kind of good. But after that, we're lost because we just don't have it. I, you know, music fan, 
of a life and like yourself, but you're born with a gift or you're not. On that side, you're right. It's fun to just be a cheerleader myself. My music friends, I've carried this stuff. I, I just like to be around the music scene. I, I can remember when I was three years old, we moved quite a few times, but I can remember, remember the turntable going around with the Beatles. And we're talking 65, you know, at that time. And yeah. And I'm sure you have kind of the same stories of your early influences when you, when you grew up, huh? Yeah, definitely. I had a big brother, so uh, that helps a lot, having a big brother in terms of early music influences. But also my dad, uh, we had one of those old, uh, very wide record players with a, a radio attached and two speakers at the end, like a sideboard. Do you yeah. remember those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a huge thing. And you could put four or five records in and load them and they would play one at a time and all sorts it was brilliant and i was always fascinated with that and that was before they even put the records on it it was quite a great machine and yeah so this thing as a as a kid just you get the bug don't you you think that's interesting oh i like the beat of that and yeah it just infects you from an early age yeah, and, and now at our stage in life, it's so much fun to be able to present the music. I mean, I've been doing it, well, about four years ago, I started with some sports talk with my friends, and then I've kind of progressed into this last two years. I've been, well, Blind Raccoon and MTS Records heard me, and they started sending me the music. I mean, on my end, I was playing Buddy Guy before it was even released. Um, a lot of people were not sure how that could happen, but if they give you the music on this open forum, you're free to play it all you want. Um, that's the neat thing about today in music. Yeah, um, it's amazing. It, it's such a blessing. I mean, I have my internet station, which I've been let running for ages. But when Jorvik Radio opened up, it was just like a gift, you know, a total gift to actual FM, you know, out to the whole city. Just, it's an absolute privilege to be able to play music and be able to pick pretty much what I want as well. It, it's just fabulous. It, to me, it, it's like a. I always think about my show. If one person is listening to a song somewhere and it makes their day, that's really what I'm trying to do because, yeah. you, know, you know, the business, so, the money, and I'm just trying to spread some fun because that influences yeah. my life. And I'm sure you're trying totally. to do the same thing. That's exactly the way I think of it. Isn't that funny? I can remember when I was about 13 years old, I can remember lying on my bed the wrong way around and hearing the band The Sugar Cubes on the radio for the first time and I can perfectly remember that moment and when I do my radio internet or Yorvik radio whatever it might be I always think of that moment and maybe there's a kid in Saudi Arabia or Belize or you know wherever it might be it doesn't matter where you are in the world that could be that moment for that kid you know you're right because I'm picking up, you know, my time. It's always been radio when I was a kid, even AM. I would put tinfoil on the old FM and try and get a station like 600 miles away and to be able to hear yeah. that at night. And that's kind of what I'm feeling today with trying to do this online forum too. Um, and now it's amazing that people can hear it wherever. Yeah. Like we did just, back in the day. It's just, it's wonderful, you know, when you think of the possibilities. Yeah, we got a call coming in. No, it's live yeah. on my end. That's a call at my house. <laughs> I would love it when a phone call comes in. Or a lot. Live right. The, the humagoo.com. <laughs> now, speaking of the fun stuff, now, Blog Talk Radio allows you to have a phone number. I do have that, too, but the phone numbers don't go out into the worldwide. It's more in the States, per se. But you can have 10 callers with Blog Talk Radio, and I could be talking with you right now, and your friends could be calling you. Isn't that kind of well, cool? It is it's just endless possibilities isn't it it's it's absolutely amazing you know when i started out doing radio when i was 14 years old on hospital radio i had 15 minutes in my friend's show once a week that's mm -hmm. how i started and i did that for about six or seven years and progressed to other things that i might chat about later but just i could never have imagined the possibilities when i started you know playing two maybe three tracks if they were short and you know, all those years ago, it, it's just astonishing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play a track in a minute here, but I'll tell you a quick story. A friend of mine, when I first started this, he says, you're talking more. Or I, I used to feel privileged. Two years ago, when I would get this music from people, it's...